Okay, so here's the circuit. I've had a potentiometer here. This is a 0.5 watt potentiometer wired in rheostat mode. So what that basically means is I've got a line coming in here and then the bottom two are joined together. So as I adjust the pot, I get a single resistance across there. Um, I've protected the potentiometer with a couple of 620 ohm resistors there, making 310. So this can go from zero to 5310. Well, well, 310 to 5310. That's fed directly into the to the base of the power transistor from the collector of the MOSFET. So what I've basically done is hooked up the circuit to four fans, when above 0.55, which is more than I would really like to have on there. Um, it's about the limit of the circuit, in fact. Um, any more than that, and I'd have to start thinking about using a different transistor, something with a bit more oomph. But anyway, so this is how I would set it up. You just get a little screwdriver, and once you've got your fans running, nice and slow, on the slow spec setting, you then just basically dial it down that's uh, clockwise until it goes down to the speed that you want. Now I, I haven't got a RPM readout here so I'm just going to dial it down to 5 volts which is roughly where fans will start spinning don't go much slower than that so yeah, 5 volts. Now if I bring this cycle back up I should see what kind of range of speed I get out of that there you go, 11.55 so I've dropped 0.4 of a volt at the maximum spectre setting don't forget my PWM cycle is 95% uh, so I'm a good full range so you may get a little bit of a drop anyway but it won't be that great so you may have 50 RPMs off your top speed so a 1500 fan may run at 1450 or possibly 1400, who cares um, as for the circuit running fast, everything nice and cool B772 is also cool. It only gets hot at the lower end because it's turning on and off um, far more, far more, far more times, far more power being dropped through there because the capacitor is emptying. Okay, so at the moment I've got four fans on here. I'll just take a couple off and we'll go through the the same set of procedure again. Uh, with just the two fans, that's uh, two eight loons. 0.3 amps, similar to four General Typhoon AP15s or two Corsair SP120s in high performance. Um, possibly three fans of other types, maybe four fans. Yeah, you know, get the idea. It depends on the fan. So, at the moment, there from before is seven volts. So I will just reduce the power going through the circuit, closing the tap if you like. I will just dial it clockwise until I reach the speed that I want, which will be 5 volts. The fans are getting quite slow. Going down and down. Because it's not, this should be, this is a linear pot, but it's it's a log um, reaction. So there you go, 5 volts, pretty stable. Increase the speed. And there you go, 11.8. Just a couple of volts drop through the circuit. You're going to get a couple of volts drop through the circuit, a couple of point volts through the circuit. So that's fine. I shall now put one fan on. So here we are with one fan. This is a 0.1 amp fan, pretty typical of um, 1500 RPM fans uh, of this, this kind of calibre. Uh, at the moment it's showing 10, 10 volts because I haven't adjusted it yet, so I'll just come in with the adjustment. And this may be on the bottom end of the scale for, for this particular potentiometer, because it is only 5k. So I'll dial it down, see where we get to. 25 turn potentiometer, so it could be a little while. 
and it's coming down. So I wonder if it'll get down to five. It looks like it might do. I'll turn a lot here because the circuit works in a log fashion. But the pot is, is linear. So I'll just bring it back up a touch. There you go, five volts. And now I shall kick the fans back at the, into top speed. And there you go. So I will get five volts up to twelve volts through PWM cycle. Computer should take care of that. And obviously I'm getting full top range there, and it starts to come down as soon as I start turning the duty cycle. Quite quick response. Okay, let's try it with the lowest. Okay, so this is the lowest current fan that I've got. It's a 120 millimeter Xilinx fan, which uses around about 70 milliamps, 0 0.07 amps. I have nothing lower than that. So hopefully, um, this will be the, the worst case scenario, the lowest rated fan. Now, at the moment, obviously it uh, will adjust from 7 volts up to 12 as shown. Let's so see if I can just adjust that down a little bit more. Just turn it clockwise again. And it's still got some adjustment left. It's coming down. No. I think that's uh, reached the limits of the pot. 6.7 So there you go. Obviously the the range of this particular potentiometer 5k is a 0.1 amp fan. Of course I can adjust it up but um, 0.1 amps up to 0 0.5, 0 0.55 amps. That's a pretty good cover. All user adjustable. Set your own fan speeds, your own fan curves. Everything's uh, ready there. If you, of course, if you wanted to run these Silence fans, for example, or a Bitfenix Spectre white fans, something like that, on this this converter circuit, then. Um, one solution to get over the problem of it not going low enough would be just use two fans and then you can increase the current either that or you just use a different potentiometer because they do 10, 10k ones as well I just happen to buy a 5k one just to test out so here we go I'm just adjusting it up up to 5 volts as before there you go 5 volts and now there you go 12.2 down to 5 volts through PWM works pretty well once you've set it it's done and just a little look at the circuit so I haven't put the transistors fully down I wanted to make sure it was all working first the uh, potentiometer just sits on the end of the board. I can bring heat shrink up to the front of it. So you've just got a little um, screwdriver on the end. Um, same height as before, and it will need heat sink. All of you will need a heat sink just in case you want to run uh, a few fans on there. Okay.